Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name's Nobby. Thank you for tuning in to episode 27 of our Path of Exile Affliction League beginners playthrough. Running through Zizarin's Bone Shatter Slayer build. We are now officially a Bone Shatter Slayer. We can say that now. We've got our first ascendancy. Uh, I did go and buy an orb of fusing from one of the vendors for it cost me four jewelers orbs uh, and with one click we managed to link this axe that we've been saving for like forever it felt like uh, <laughs> so that is now three linked i've put the gems in there and i've just crafted some fire resist so we are now good on defenses 92 81 99 all three capped at 75, exactly where we want to be for the end of Act 5. I've also, we were carrying around Pride as an aura. I've also just put it on my hotbar. We'll see if we can run with Pride as well now, because we've had some skills in the passive tree that reduce mana efficiency and things. So it now only takes 43 mana as opposed to 50%. Um, we'll try and run with it. We've not had mana issues, but with that active we might have uh, so we'll see we can run with it or try to if it doesn't work it's fine it's not a big deal uh, i do still carry at this stage i do still carry a mana flask purely for mana issues i always carry two life flasks if you've seen the toxic rain playthrough you'll know how i play uh speed potion is neither here nor there and i have got the elemental resistance potion is just a little bit extra that could actually because we are capped now could probably swap that for the armor one to be fair let's do that shall we let's do that there's no right or wrong with these by the way guys feel free to have a play the build guide is just a guide uh we'll go with the armor flask why not an example being i'm running a cast when damage taken with molten shell and poacher's mark there's no mention of that currently in the build guide there is later with a cast when damage taken setup but Feel free to have a play around. Cast when damage taken is a really good one to have. A really good one. I know you can't get it till Act 4 unless you buy it through trade. Uh, but it's a really good one to have a play around with. Especially the limiting, the levelling. So it still triggers the gems. Uh, right, we are pushing through Act 5. I do want to say hello to Greg. Greg, dropping a couple of comments. Uh, one being that you're struggling with a new league mechanic. To be fair, mate, as an early level character... I try to avoid most of the new league mechanic. I can find sometimes it's a bit tough. You're, you've not got the killing power or speed required to get through the mechanic. It was the same in the last league with the Trial of the Ancestors. Uh, so I've been in a couple of them. You follow the wisps as far as you can, and you'll either come across an NPC that will give you an additional little passive skill tree, similar to the Ascendancy one. Or you just run out of time, distance, and you get the portal back out. Uh, they're good for XP. They can be good for gear, but I'm skipping them now until we're into maps and more powerful. I do find sometimes the new league mechanic, you do struggle with early levels. Um, that being said, they're not required to get through the game. The bosses are going to be a DPS check at the end of each act anyway, so as long as you can do them, even if you die three or four times <laughs> in the process, uh, they're basically a DPS check. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Have a play, have a look, but then I tend to leave it alone. Right, we are back in the Ruined Square. We are in Act 5. We are pushing towards the end of Act 5. I've got a couple of quests in here. The waypoint is right near the ossuary, so we could go straight in there. Alternatively, we need to go to the reliquary, which is usually down the bottom left side of the map. Zone, zone, I should say. Uh, and we need to find Utula, which is a bit of a mini boss in here, and kill that one. Now, let me pop that on. So we are literally 123 mana. We might be okay. We'll have a look. I'm running with it for now. There's a ring, might be worth a look. A two stone ring. Yeah, we're not doing bad at the minute. Uh, that might be worth a look as well. Right. 
Right, I'm not getting any audible warnings that we're running out of mana, even though I do tend to pop the flask automatically anyway. Okay, we'll head down this way. I'm hugging this side, because usually this mini-boss that we need, this Utula, is down one of these sides. Not that way, that was the way that we came out. That one's a dead end. Okay, we'll keep going. So I do hope you're enjoying the game, guys, as well. I really do. This is a fantastic free-to-play game. Some would argue it's not really free-to-play because you have to buy stash tabs for convenience, if nothing else. Uh, the one thing I will say, stash tabs always come on sale every three or four weeks. Wait for a sale. I mean, if you're going to spend some money on this game and you're really enjoying it, 20 or 30 quid in stash tabs will pretty much set you up for the rest of your play. Also worth mentioning... When Path of Exile 2 comes out, any cosmetics, stash tabs, the likes that you've already bought in PoE 1 are going to carry forward as well. Okay, so far so good. Mana seems to be okay. I would like next um, a four link, three red and a green. Then we can put our additional totems in. That would be the next thing I'm looking for. As well as obviously just upgrades anyway. Nearly leveling up. Okay, here's the, uh, the mini boss that we need. Yep, that was fairly quick. Okay. Very nice. Chromatic recipe we shall take. So we're looking now for the reliquary door. And there's the level. Level 50. Fantastic. Right, let's go spend this point. So we're done up here, I think. Do we need to take the mastery or not? Uh, no, we don't. So we're going to go now for the axe damage. All the way around here to slaughter is where we're heading. Okay, where is the reliquary going to be? It must still be further over to the left. Another two stone ring. life flask we'll have a look just in case it comes out with bleed then we can upgrade the one we've got i'd like a bigger version of that now as well uh main support faster attack support can go up here he is this is the reliquary so the reason i've gone for these first is because when we need to waypoint back to the ruined square we are right at the ossuary anyway for the next the next section there is a waypoint here so we shall jump back and sell we'll have a look at these rings maybe see if anything was worth worth keeping hold of freedom comes to those who fight the flask burning and ignite okay the one we've got is increased life recovered that does 1990 over four seconds 
1640 over 3 consumes 10 of 30 so you get three uses of that that consumes 10 of 25 we only get two uses of that okay we shall take the burning one i think we can now sell that one uh rings let's have a look at this fizz damage bit of lightning resist 38 to max life isn't bad I'm looking at the sapphire ring at the bottom there, possibly. Uh, lightning resist we wouldn't need because we're not losing it, but we may need to try and craft cold resist on it. We'd lose some dex and int. That may be an issue. It's also got a bit of chaos resist. It's a nice to have. You don't have to have it, but it is a nice to have. Um, we might look at that one. Now, the important thing here... Uh, I'm just going to sell the other two. We'll not bother with those. You could try and upgrade them, but I do know I'm limited on currency at the minute, so I'll leave them for now. Uh, that'll do for that. What we need to be careful of, though, replacing that ring. It was this one, wasn't it? We're going to lose dex and int. That may cause us an issue. Any of these go red? No, none of those go red, so... That means we can still use all our abilities. Uh, it takes us up to 1,800 life. Defensive-wise, yeah, we lose a shed ton of cold. So before I sell this ring, I want to make sure I can craft cold on it. Otherwise, the old ring is going back on. Always double-check, guys, that you've not done yourself over. There is no buyback in this game. Always make sure you are right and you can use everything. There's no red backgrounds on anything before you sell that ring back. Otherwise, you could be a little bit stuck. See, I can't put any resists on this. Item has no space for mods and I don't have enough currency, so I can't do anything with that. So the problem there would be, although I'm getting extra life, I would be losing a load of cold resist, and at this stage, that is not good. So we are re-equipping our old ring and we will just say goodbye to that one unfortunately there we go goodbye all right straight back into the reliquary let's go and do this optional and then we'll hand those two quests in So we are looking for three items. Ah, we have a new league mechanic. Fantastic. Okay. Let me just kill the things around it. Lovely. All right. This is the Delirium League mechanic, a Delirium mirror. So what we do, we run through this mirror. The zone changes slightly, but it's still the same zone. We're going to get more monsters to kill, and it's a bit of a speed run. You'll see a couple of icons pop up here. And we are will now be timed to run through this zone as quick as we can, killing as much as we can to fill these little icons up. And then when our timer runs out, it pops up at four seconds, I think. Three, two, one, well, gives you a countdown. Then we'll get the loot that these icons relate to. So we're going to jump through the mirror. There we go. We now need to kill. See how it's gone a little bit foggy? There's more fog mobs on here. Best way to describe them. So we are literally just running this zone as quick as we can. Spawn as many mobs as we can. This is why I was saying the game sort of forces you to play a bit quicker anyway. You see how armor is going to be the thing that drops. And there's our first quest item, so we may as well carry on doing the zone. I don't mind this one, because this is one of those lead mechanics that doesn't take you. There's a unique. Doesn't take you away from the zone that you're running. I'll leave the quiver there. We don't need the quiver. We're still good on time. It's not popped up with a countdown yet, so let's see if we can't bop a few more. Fill those bars again. There you go, the time has popped up now. And there we go. That's the end of the instance, so we should get some loot drop. There we are. 
a medium cluster jewel, a shield, a pair of boots, a pair of gloves. I'll take all the small stuff first, and then we'll see how we are for space. We are not very good. Okay. <laughs> Everything just wants to level up. Chromatic recipe there. So that's the delirium mechanic. Just forcing you to speed up a little bit. But the good thing is, as you speed up, you're killing more monsters, potentially getting more loot. You're also keeping up all your buffs, fortification trauma we're getting we're getting endurance charges you see how they're all dropping off now so you do want to be running the zones as quick as you can anyway and that'll condition you into how to play the maps when we get there okay one more of kitava's torments to find in here Yeah, I still notice it's a little bit light. I have not even got room to pick up a scroll. Okay, we are full to busting. <laughs> on single target, my only concern is it seems to be a little bit light on hits at the minute, though. So that may be a concern at the boss fight. We shall see. eventually okay i think we need to just do a quick portal out of here come back in because we've got lots of goodies currency that i cannot even pick up we are full Hello. okay let's do a sell uh movement speed is nice the life is nice it's only got seven lightning resist though so that isn't great uh, evasion, no life. Gloves, good life. Good resistances. But we would be losing cold and lightning. And you, armor, evasion, not bad. Fire of 6 and cold of 13, pretty trash rolls. Uh, right, and you're a unique. Okay. Stash the unique. Stash the currency. I still need those two. So this is a medium cluster jewel. I don't think our build has requested a cluster jewel yet. Let me just fast forward to early end game. Um, it doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Well, what cluster jewels do? You get a gem socket or jewel socket, I should say at the end of the tree say here for example if you put a cluster jewel into there it opens up another branch of passive tree you will see some builds that require these cluster jewels uh, this is a normal one again you can roll it magic you can roll it rare uh, this one gives increased critical strike so it's not even for our build anyway because we don't deal crit or we're not going to soon uh, but sometimes they're worth keeping hold of, if only to look at the value on the POE trade website and flog. We need to go straight back in. Nope, our portal. Straight back in through our portal. Let's go and pick up the rest of that gear that we couldn't and carry on. We still need to pick up one more. One more of Kitava's torments, don't we? Another blue life flask there that I'm going to have a look at. Oh, 
possibly down this corner. Well, there's a crafting recipe. Which is accuracy rank one. And here's the final torment. Excellent. Okay. go bit of currency so we could now just jump out of here portal out job done alternatively keep killing beasties see if we get any more goodies chest gloves Also, there's a chance you may come across more League mechanics. Don't always assume just because we've seen the Delirium Mirror there aren't other mechanics. We could still come across a Val area. Uh, I think we're just heading out. Yep, that'll do for this one. Very nice indeed. So next time we go into the Ruin Square, we're literally straight up into the ossuary. Okay, let's go hand these in. You're going to give me a skill point and two respect points. We shall take and ban them. You're going to give me a sword that we don't want, a bow that we don't want, a one-handed axe that we don't want. Okay, everything there is pretty pointless. Never mind. Uh, strength, armor, increased armor, fire resist, no max life. It's the wrong socket combination, uh, unfortunately not. Right, okay. That one, decent cold resist. It's evasion and energy shield though, so that's not for this build. Very good max life roll and fire resist and lightning resist. That isn't bad. Obviously, it's a bit of a drop in the armor of the one we've got. And we can't afford to lose the sockets, but that wasn't bad. Uh, this one. Evasion boots. Fire resist, lightning resist, 66 to max life. Evasion rating, increased evasion. Evasion is okay for us. I'd prefer armor. Um, but, again, we can't afford to lose the two red-green setup because that is our totem setup. Cast when damage taken, I can't afford to lose that to swap that around either. Ooh, they are good boots though. So the question is with those, is that something you may consider spending a bit of currency on? That's instant recovery. I don't really like, although some people will say instant recovery is a must. Um, Actually, you know what? I think for the immunity to chill and bl and uh, freeze, that probably is a must as our second oh shit life button. That one can get sold. So the question would be, can you try and... We've only got four. You can try and re-roll them to get three. You can then try and re-roll the colours, but because they're pure evasion, more likely to get green sockets, not what we're looking for, two red and a green. Uh, that is linked, but doesn't necessarily need to be. So we could swap that around, but again, you'd be trying to get an extra red in there. We've got options, unfortunately. Not for those boots, I don't think. As much as I'd like to keep them on, if they were armor-based, that would have been a really good, really good upgrade. I think they're just a sell at this stage. That's one of the rare occasions where you get a yellow item that's actually got really good rolls on it and you don't have to do much with it. Obviously, apart from the gem socket colour combination, we'd have had to do quite a bit of work on that. Uh, right, axe damage. Yes, axe damage, please. Nine times out of ten, you're working off a white base and upgrading it yourself. One of those rare occasions where you get a yellow that might actually be decent. 
Right, we are now going to work into the ossuary and get towards the end of the Act 5 boss, which will now be in the next episode. So thanks for watching, folks. Really do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. Thank you all for your support. You guys that are watching, liking, commenting on the videos, subbing to the channel, you've been fantastic. And I shall see you again very soon. Take care.